Hey you guys, hope you all can hear me. Good you guys are doing great, that you guys are doing well. That this week has been the most amazing week that you could possibly dream and hope for and if it hasn't. And tomorrow is Friday and also my birthday. That your weekend will be great and bright and that it will bring all the hope and happiness that you are looking for. So always, always remember that you can um, keep your eyes open, keep your head up and look up. Because there's a bigger brighter, better deal on the horizon just for you. And you have to know and believe that you are deserve every good and great thing coming your way. Alrighty? So the day has really been jam-packed. This is not going to be a long video. Um, this morning, Mikhail and I were headed to my B12 injection appointment. I unfortunately did not get the B12 injection because I started feeling really sick. But let me go back. So around four o'clock this morning, I had a lot of stomach pain, like sharp stomach pain, vomiting, diarrhea, the works. The fever came back. Um, so it stayed at about maybe between 99.1 and 99.7. So that was between 4 and 6 o'clock. I could not lay down at all. I walked back and forth in the house, ever got up trying to help me. I saw him just going to go to work, don't take off and try to help me. Um, so by the time Michaela came, she helped me get dressed, clean up the room, all that jazz and everything. So I told her, I'm just going to play by ear and see how I'm going to feel. And this is my chemo hat that I have on. Y'all probably seen this in other videos. So I'm good, but this is what this, this hat is for. So it's just FYI. Um, so that appointment was for 8 o'clock, and then I had physical therapy today for 1 o'clock. So when we went over there well, this morning, I felt so chilly. Like I had, you know how your body just feel cold all the time, and you have those little bumps you build your face, on your neck, you see them on your arms, and your legs, on your thighs. That's how I felt, like it just was just freezing. So, like a lot of just bad, bad chills. Uh, we kind of died down a little bit by the time we got to the appointment, but I still was not feeling the best. Then I kind of, I was sitting in the wheelchair waiting for my name to be called, so I could get like the little armband on my arm and then get ready to go upstairs. I was kind of like talking outside my head, so one of the ladies that sees me all the time was kind of concerned, asking me was I okay, and I was telling her that I was at. And then, you know, we're upstairs waiting for the nurse to call my name so I can go back there and get the B12 injection. It's just, everything just went haywire. So as I went into the restroom, I um, talked to Ever and talked to my mom and then for me to say, well, I don't get the, the um, not the COVID shot, I don't get the B12 injection if you're not feeling well. So Michael and I decided to leave and come home. So in case you want to, like, why well, I didn't stay there and get the, um, you know, I feel sick as a dog and why to stay at the hospital and get help well because, you know, I don't see the, the, the neurologist that I see all the time, the male neurologist. I see the female neurologist that I've been with her since probably around maybe the very March of this year. So I went to the main campus where she's at on Monday and they really didn't do much for me. So I went to the hospital that's literally about five minutes from my house and that's when I felt bad to go. Um, now they did pretty okay. They didn't overdo things. Um, just kind of did the same as the other hospital, but the attitude was a little bit nicer. So that, you know, made a difference. But still, kind of came home feeling mad. I could feel a little bit more energy than I did on Monday. So that's great. And I will accept that. It's a blessing. Um, so we came home. She called 911 before she did that. My mom got dressed and she, um, the kid got all my stuff, my purse, everything, my, my, my bag, my clothes. She got a medication bag, everything that I need to charge her, all that I did to go to the ambulance. Now, no one could ride with you in the ambulance, but someone is able to come to the hospital with you. So she brought my mom there for me. And um, we were there for about six hours because we went there like around nine and we wasn't discharged until about after five o'clock. So, my dad picked up my mom and they yeah, never put up at the water the same time they ever picked me up. So we came home and then Michaela 
and fixed me some salmon and asparagus I was looking forward to eat because I had eaten literally all day. I didn't even have water or anything this morning. The only thing I had literally while I was sitting in the hospital, they wanted me to take two times on tablets. I took that with water. But I hadn't had anything to take, like no episodes, anything that I take normally to take my medication for my stomach. So I hadn't had anything that I was directly hungry. So I'm so grateful that she took the time to fix that food for me because that was her, you know, bit of gift for me. And then I felt so full and she did an amazing job. I really, really am grateful and appreciate her love and service. It's just beyond a little woman. So they gave me a packet of, like a Z pack to call Pazithromycin. And we didn't go to the pharmacy we came home because I was tired of the thought you could ever. has been having like this really, really bad back spasm the past two days. So tomorrow's my birthday, we'll just go to Walmart and drop it off and pick up the prescription again. So that's not a problem because the pharmacy was still open, but I was just tired. I didn't feel like walking, you know, rather, I didn't feel like getting out the truck and just, unless I was getting out the truck to come in my home and rest. I just want to give you guys a heads up. The fever has broken, so it was, it was 103 today because when I took it at home, it was 99.7. And then I got the ambulance, it was 103. 103. So, yeah, so we'll get ready to tell you guys good night. And always, always remember that you are born, that you are strong, that you're a winner, that you're a warrior, that you are a survivor. And I just don't want to finish with that as far as the jiggers were to recovery.